There's an old joke that says that this first person is the only Rochesterian to play for every single one of this city's sports teams. If that didn't give it away, this next part surely will. So I'm standing at the site of the old Silver Stadium, and this is where I and most Rochesterians were introduced to this man's wonderful talent. I can almost hear the famous tune that he played and continues to play to get the Red Wing crowd fired up. Yeah, this episode of People You Should Know But Might Not is the wonderful organist Fred Costello. Sit down and watch this short video and get to know a neighbor. Wait, where's my tip jar? <laughs> After 11 years on the road, um, we, I ended up in Rochester. One fateful day, I happened to pick up the paper and I noticed that Don Labruzzo had been named general manager of the Wings. And I said, gosh, I remember him when I used to work out with the Syracuse Chiefs when I was a sparring ball player. I said, I wonder if he wants the music of the ballpark. I mean, at the time I was playing six nights a week at a club, but I really didn't even have time to do that. But I thought it'd be kind of a kick, you know. So um, I remember my wife saying, well, give him a call. And I did call him and he says, oh, remember, he remembered me. He said, be great. It'd be just like the major leagues. Let's have an organist. So he hired me. Uh, it was in 77. He gave me a one-year contract. Uh, the following year, he was fired, <laughs> and uh, I'm still there. And when they first hired me, uh, they had no, um, no place actually to put the organ. So what they did, they went to the top of the grandstand, took a few rows out, and just set the organ on the platform, which meant in April, at the top of the grandstand, with that wind coming in and the rain coming in, I actually played some, some evenings with gloves and a hat and coat on. I mean, it was like really cold. The second year, they built me a little, uh, like a little uh, cabana there, you know, and they put the organ in that. And that was okay, except all the drunks would come by and they want their favorite song for their girlfriend, you know. <laughs> so I talked them to put in the organ up in the press box, and it's been there ever since. And I look forward to going to the ballpark as much today as I did that first game in 77. I love it. Yeah. I even got out there early sometime for batting practice, you know. Yeah. And of course, I've seen my, my whole family grow up there. And that's been kind of fun. Uh, when you've had people like Cal Ripon calling your house and telling your son, come out a little early, I'll, I'll hit you some ground balls. I mean, Chris was playing um, high school ball at the time with McQuaid. And uh, there he was with the, with the ball team working out with Cal Ripken and all these other stars, you know. So, I mean, what a great way to grow up. Yeah, it was, it was and, and not, not only that, with, with uh, both Chris and Terry were running the clubhouse, uh, they were pretty tight with all the ball players. So there were, there were nights that 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, we'd have four or five ball players over here. My wife would get up and cook for them. Or some mornings we'd wake up and there'd be one ball player on the couch, one be in our pop up trailer in the backyard. <laughs> it was one big happy family. You know? Yeah. <laughs> My greatest memory, and people have always asked me, of all the years you've been with the Wings, what's your greatest memory? Well, it wasn't playing the organ. Me being this, you know, this want to be a ball player all my life. My biggest thrill was I got to be, I was asked to be played uh, in the old timers game, to play third base with Johnny Antonelli's old. And there I am playing third base in the old timers game. There's 8,000 people. Wow. There they are, 8,000 8, people in the stands. I'm playing third, and Johnny's on the mound. And he looks over at me, he says, uh, you ready, Fred? I said, are you kidding? I've been ready for 30 years. <laughs> That's it, you made it. And I'll tell you what I did. I feel the two ground balls flawlessly. But when it came to bat, I walked once. The next time, I popped up to the catcher. And I remember Tom Chisholm was our first base for the wings. He hollers out to me, he says, don't worry, Fred, the ball's not carrying too, too much today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that was that was a big thrill for me. Now you know the man behind the hands. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.